I should not be seen in this area. When Lokan outpost, if I take the cargo here, the Britons will be weakened and want peace.
Get me out of this cursed place. Men for Deolav's feared. More valuable than cargo. I give you freedom. Now give the Shire your pipe. I will. Track down their supply line. We'll drag Rodri back to the peace table soon enough. Friend or foe? Friends. Peace. I was told you might know where the Britons bring in their supplies. Are we your friends, Dane? I would have it so. After years of blood and gore, looting and burning, forgive us if we don't trust a Dane. In Rodri, we share a common enemy. My only wish is to destroy his supply line and bring him to the table begging for a truce. Once we have peace, you and your kin will no longer walk this land in wretchedness. What you say is good sense. Very well, Dane. Here's what I know. The Britons move their goods through dust and quarry. See that tower to the south? That's the Hillgate remnants. Further on, you'll find the stone quarry. Thank you.
stone quarry, filled with Britain's supply carts. Once I burn those, it will push Rodri to peace. Skip it. That should shake Rodri to his senses. Now to Wesbury, before Eva causes more problems.
Uh, I think so. A faint... Show me. Ivar, Cheolveth. Hey, Eivor. I was telling the Aetherling here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. Flames and smoke will warm Rodri's desire for peace. Enir is a lesser concern. Peace is for suckling babes, but as you like. Oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Ah, I prefer sound and fury, but do as you must. Bloody kindling it is. We will smash this place to splinters. Come, Chaelbert! The fight is on! Let the Saxon villagers flee, Ivar. Only the Britons deserve our wrath. Thor thunders beside us! Yeah!
Should rid this place of soldiers. Less support for Rodri. the parrot. Ah, 
That's the last of them. Let us get a good view of our handiwork, Jailbert. Join us, Eivor! This masterpiece. Eivor! Did you see Chilbert fight? He is all balls now. I give thanks for victory and ask penance for taking lives. Oh, Chilbert, your god bores me to death. Have a laugh. We won! And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The Song of Swords, the Blood Mist, the Bone Crunch and Baring of Teeth! Is this enough blood paid, Ivar? We have spilled enough to slake the thirst of Fenrir. Why stop there? Jailbert, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Westbury has been destroyed. The bleeding Puspit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar, not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing! I need a moment of calm. You need me. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air. Or... fishing. Would you go fishing with me? Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. It's just up here. I have no fondness for fishing. Where is the sport in it? There's no chance the fish will kill me. Uh. Here will be good. Let's fish for eel. Dale have relishes nettle soup cooked with eels fresh from the water. I will not fish. You go ahead. All I have are my weapons.
promised enough for a hearty soup. Enough for now. Bishop Dalev will be pleased. Let's go tell Ivar about our catch. That took longer than clearing this village. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah, a strange way to celebrate victory. But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chelbert, but my heart is heavy. So many homes burnt. We'll be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chelbert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just. But I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Brodry will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor. Look where we landed. Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups. The fighting is done. But the talking has not yet begun. We'll need to be careful about who attends our negotiations. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Eva should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, Wolfkist. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard. You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. Bishop, we must prepare for Rodri's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp, just here. Peace or war will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the Great Oak! Where is Chaelbert? He ought to be present for these talks as our future elderman. He went hunting. For wild boar, he said. That was quite some time ago, no? We cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Angharad, greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are glad and to hear it. But where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. We've confined our cutthroat to his tent. Both of us fretting over our war-hungry companions. It seems we are of the same mind. A surplus of caution never did any harm. I count this as a blessing. Perhaps then at long last we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. 
In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. I stand bewildered, Eivor. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Chaelbert must learn the good news. Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now. 